Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to do all batch utility upgrade in my lab. I have two databases, primary and standby. Whether its role of database is a primary or it's a standby, all batch utility upgrade is same. Before we are going to do this, let's see why we do uh, why do we need to upgrade the all batch. Actually, if you would like to patch your database. In each batch, you have to go to the README HTML. In this, you will follow certain steps in order to patch your database. One of the main prerequisite steps is to check your all batch utility. For example, I um, would like to patch my 12.2 database to certain RU. In the all batch utility here, they are mentioning that I should have all batch with a 12.2. 1.28 or later in order to be able to use this patch and patch my utility. Otherwise, I have to go to this patch support and download 12.2.1 or patch release. That's match my OS utility. This is where you will go if you click. Make sure you select a proper release here and watch OS that you have. And this will install by default the latest available or batch. For example, here it's 36. So let me revert back to my primary database. For example, here that's what I'm going to do. In order to check my current or batch utility, I'm going to go to this place. Oracle New Home or batch folder and I'm going to run this or batch utility with version or that will show me which version that I have. So here it's 0.6. That means I'm not matching the release updates pre-request or batch version. So how to do this? Here is a simple readme file come with the or batch. Show us the steps. We will take backup of the current one. Then we will unzip this downloaded or batch in here. So let me take a backup. Let me see the here. Or even I can play with the same one or patch. Let me move this to be exactly same with underscore old. Or oh, let me do back like this. So I'm going to move this. This is kind of backup. And uh, I have already uploaded my install the batch here in the patches this one the latest one in this path so i'm going to cd to here right now there is no all patch so i'm going to cd to the home and i'm going to unzip there is an, a, a lot of alternative way to unzip this so i'm going to unzip the user one installed one that i have already uploaded here b this one six this is fixed number. So here I'm going to unzip it. Let me use hyphen Q. So this will be quiet. I don't want to see various of details of this unzipping. There is already this readme. Yes. Overwrite readme. Uh, it seems my backup was. Yes, yes, yes. I did a mistake in my backup. If you can see, I have backup the OBASH utility only. So let me move this back to all batch. It's my bad. No file, yes. So it was back like this. Let me revert it back. Please ensure that you take a proper backup for the folder. Then I'm going to move this back. But this will be for whole folder. So here I'm going to take this back. I'm going to take all batch folder, including all file to be like this back or batch. So let me just use same syntax or patch like this. Now if I unzip, same unzip here, this will work fine. So while this move on, let's wait it. All right, let me change the version now. Oracle Home 
or batch or batch version you can see oh this has been upgraded successfully to 36 so this is the step simple step how i did upgrading all batch utility in my lab thank you for watching my video and see you in another lab video